So slowly we are bringing that force into our mechanics here. <laughs> <laughs> you need not to bother anything here. You are just bringing that force into mechanics here. Okay, what are the various forces that will come into picture? Normal contact N1, M1G, the friction. Here the tension T. The tension T will act here. Then the weight of the slab. This having a, this is slab, no? Uh, any electrostatic force will be exited by the plates of capacitor S, that is F. No, it's in equilibrium. So it's in e equilibrium means, so we will write F minus T equal to zero, F equal to mu M1G minus T equal zero. Then for the equilibrium of slab, T minus M2G minus F equal to zero. T is equal to, in fact, mu M1G, this is M2G. What is F? F naught L E square K minus one by 2D. Whether it is L by 4 or L by 3, what will be that? So expression for mu will be M2G plus all divided by M1G. Or this will become M2 by M1. K minus 1 to M2G D. M1G D. <coughs> this expression for mu. So now, no, sir, like uh, can uh, along with weight and tension, this force will act as you treated this just like any other force. You get wide varieties of problems. The, 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 this is what you should try to work out some best numericals which are available related to only this force. That force will be constant. Hope everyone will, will try to work out some numericals related to this. Like this, you work out few problems which are related to force of interaction between the dielectric slab, this one, between the plates and dielectric slab. And it's a conservative force. This F is a conservative force. You can apply a conservation of mechanical energy also related to these numericals. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it one more, which you like it very much. 